Hey everybody. So, uh, hold on. Let me get a drink. Uh, excuse me. So this week, I don't know. It's been too bad. A couple pieces of copper in there. A big piece of aluminum. Love that design. We cleaned out a house. That was uh, built in 1890. Oh, you know what though? Before we did that, I go to the scrapyard I normally go to, and they gave me three milk crates worth of Chromebooks. Thought that was pretty cool. Um, uh, the school had brought them in. They're all uh, non-working. They're junk. But, I mean, that's fine. Figure there's uh, something like 50, 60 pounds there. 35, 40 dollars maybe. Got a battery that came out of a mower we scrapped this week. Another big battery. Um... So you've seen all them lights out there. And these are all the bulbs I still got to pay to get rid of. Um, I can't remember. I think it's like 25 cents a bulb is what I pay. And uh, yeah, I hate those things. But, you know, it's part of the business. Take the good and the bad, right? So, uh... Hope you guys have had a great week. Check this out. Have you ever seen bunny ears on a cast iron base? I'd never seen that before. I haven't decided whether I'm going to keep it or not, but I thought it was really cool. And then old coal shovel or homemade I don't know or ashes shovel but let's bring these guys over here so I had now here's another thing I had never seen before today or yesterday so you got soft bristles here, right? This is an iron weight. And it's got to be like 20 pounds. Things heavy as can be. I don't know if it's like something they use on boats or something. But for, you know, swabbing the deck, whatever. How about a baby cast iron sink? Some brass thought that was pretty cool got quite a bit of um, most of this is iron I did get a little bit of copper a little bit of brass window weights um, some more brass there another piece of that aluminum so this guy right here is all brass piece I just checked it out cool little lion's head Rah! got a uh, old timey gas furnace a little bit of brass and then uh, came across this old oiler and some old oil it's made by Cotter Oil Company or Cotter and Oil Company, Chicago. And then I got a box. Ew! I got oil on me. Um, <laughs> I got a box of Mason zinc Mason lids. And I mean, yeah, they're uh not in the greatest condition, but I've never had a box of them. And then I had this weird spoon fork thing. Thought that was kind of cool. 
It's probably going in the scrap pile, but wanted to show you guys. Um, some kind of foot. Got a part there like it slides up into something. I don't know. Um, a little bit more copper. And, uh, that's about it for all the cool finds. We haven't even touched these lights yet. We should have today, no, but... we touched every single one of them. Oh, okay, <laughs> Joe, Joe's right. We've touched every <laughs> single one. Hey, I can show you better now. Yeah. So, each one has copper. And the, these are the new ballasts. They, uh, they're not full of copper. They've got two, or they've got a, uh, a brown board on the inside. So we just cut them. Top piece goes into scrap. Bottom piece goes into the trash. Let's see all that water. But here's all the lids that was on them. That's where all them bulbs came from. So, I definitely got a few jobs ahead of me here to get rid of all this crap. But, uh, we'll get to that later. Let me show you this. Like I said, there's all kinds of iron pipe that we pulled out of that house yesterday. A lot of stuff from old stoves. And, uh, uh, old old timey bed frames and the only reason I know it's old timey is because I had an old brass bed years ago that we sold that was uh, from like 1920s 1930s had one of those on it or two of those rather you know but that's it guys just wanted to check in I got a few items here that need to go to scrap. Uh, what do I got? Washer, refrigerator, freezer. I think there might be a stove. Or... Oh, no. That was last week. But that's it, guys. I'm going to get off here. And uh, I'm probably done. I just needed to get the uh, truck cleaned out. I'm all beat up. Yesterday we had this uh, this house. We was cleaning things out. Had Joe go with me and Paul. And it was... Uh, they had these steps that couldn't have been more than six inches wide. So you're like walking up them just on the ball of your feet. And they're like killing your calves. We're going up sideways. <laughs> yeah, we're going up sideways. And it just... Uh, by the end of the day, every one of us was hurting. Because, oh, well, yeah, because we had to clean out the basement, too. And you had to duck down to get out of it. Almost been completely over. Um, so, I know, it's not that cool. But uh, I just thought you guys like to hear how I got tortured yesterday. So Mike's out. Have a happy new year and we'll talk to you later.